Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'll be doing a Burst Coin mining update. So unfortunately I'm very sorry I've been a little bit delayed on my uh, updates and a lot of you guys have been asking. So this is going to be a Burst Coin mining and earnings update video for January 2018 and also February 18. Um, so two months uh, there and I'll be also comparing uh, against uh, December's performance. So let's jump right into it. So opening up the web browser and taking a look at the Burst Coin Block Explorer. Um, I like this one, this blocks at fastpool.info. That works quite well for me. And here we have my Burst Coin address. You'll be quite familiar with that if you've seen a lot of my other videos. So you've got all your usual information, current balance, etc. And from this page here, it's got quite, the reason why I like using this um, uh, Explorer is that I can export my transactions so I can export the blocks and also the transactions so it's easy for me to present and show uh, the earnings to you. So let's continue on if I have a look at the Excel sheet for the transactions we've got January here and what I've done is I've just tidied it up to show all the transactions for January from the pool so I'm using this pool uh, right here and then if you scroll down, we've got a balance at the bottom. So Burst Coin earnings in total amount of Burst Coin for 103 terabytes, I've um, got uh, plotted at the moment, is 6,300, sorry, 6,238.86. So that's the January Burst Coins. Uh, let's take a look at February, which is quite different, quite dramatically different. Got a total there, 1796.9 for February. So a third uh, in comparison to January. So I'm gonna talk about why that might have happened. If we take a look at the blocks that I found, it kind of explains the picture a little bit better. So this is for January here, or this section. And you can see throughout the month of January, I found seven burst coin blocks, but for February, um, I didn't find any burst coin blocks at all, so I've only received a certain amount of um, shares for the blocks that I contributed to. So that would just be poor rewards. For some reason, I didn't find any blocks during January. Um, I've got a couple of ideas of why that might be, and I'll talk about those in just a moment. And you can see uh, for March, I've got two blocks, but we're on the 23rd of March right now in any case. So one of the things that I think might have contributed to me not finding any blocks in January is... If I show you the miner, so this is the J miner here, and previously I was mining and the block scan time, so the time it takes my miner to read all of my hard drives, um, I'm pretty sure it's well under 60 seconds, I'll have to go back and check my videos, but now that I've noticed it's um, sort of uh, 120 seconds or 80 seconds, sorry, which is quite a bit longer than what it used to be. Uh, one of the reasons I think that might be is because I took some of the memory, I took half the memory, I took eight gigabytes out of that machine and used that for my POS mining machine. So I think that memory reduction might have had um, quite a drastic uh, effect on those, on the performance of that miner. But um, that's something I'm gonna double check because it doesn't seem to use that much memory when mining. So I'll have to double check that. So that could be one reason why the earnings have been lower for um, February. And also just luck. If we could take a look back at the browser. So you can see here's the, uh, just another sort of look at the block explorer. So these are all the blocks that I've been finding. So it's most been one every other day. Well, not every other day, but occasionally. It used to be every other day. I wish it was like that now, but it's um, not. Um, so you can see it's kind of really sort of faded off. Uh, one of the other aspects that would have contributed to this is the network size. So you can see in this last year, it's grown dramatically. So this is in terabytes, and you can see now we're up like almost 350,000 terabytes, which is a massive number. Uh, and considering when I've only got like, you know, 103 terabytes on the network, it's a very, very small percentage compared to everyone else. So the shares are distributed much wider now. There's a lot more people mining Burst Coin than, than ever before. So that means that your earnings are much less. Also, the block rewards get smaller and smaller each month uh, also, so that contributes it. But this is, I think this is the, one of the main reasons why I didn't find any blocks in February, just because the network, if we have a look at one year, the network is just getting bigger and bigger. So for January, 
was sort of 135 terabytes, uh, 135,000 terabytes. And then through February, sort of over 200. So, you know, almost twice as difficult to find blocks uh, from one month to the, to the next. Taking a look at coin market cap, so you can see what the price has been doing. Um, I've already got it on the one year section. So you can see for our, um, December, we've got that uh, McAfee pump in the late December sort of period. It moved on from there and then January got a real big boost. You can see it was over um, 12 cents per bias coin, which is the highest it's ever been. So that was an all time high there. So that was a significant um, increase in price. February it's dropped down and then we're sort of close to this sort of three sort of cents uh, roughly um, as an average throughout the month. And then, um, you know, moving into March, which is the month that we're in now, and looks like it's dropping below sort of the two cents uh, level. So that's where we are on the, the pricing. So now let's take a look at my calculated earnings for the periods of January and February. So I've just got a word pad, um, just for simplicity, keep it simple to explain it to you guys. So at the top here, I've got my December figures. So you would have seen that in my previous video. So December was a really good month, uh, mostly because of that McAfee uh, pump he tweeted about Burstcoin. That helped pump the price up, so that gave us a really good um, dollar price per Burstcoin. You can see we ended up coming out with $334 for the end of December. Uh, January was a very good month in terms of dollars and also the number of Burstcoins. So we've got 6238 Burstcoins, which is really good. Uh, found quite a few blocks and got good Burstcoin earnings. And what I've got here, the burst coin price, so I've got it in uh, Bitcoin or Satoshis. So 500 Satoshis works out on average seven cents for the month of January. I've just taken that average to give you kind of um, a good um, understanding of the price and how it can change dramatically from one month to the next. So depending on exactly when you sell your coins, um, it will obviously affect your price quite dramatically. So assuming we sold gradually all throughout the month of January, uh, and considering our power cost of $25, a very small amount, we would have made $411.72. So that is what we would have got if we sold out our price on the average of January. So that would have been a very good month. Taking a look at February, um, quite different. So again, using an average 325 Satoshis for the month of February, and that gives us an average dollar price of three cents as an average price. Total burst coin mined was 1796.9, which gives us a revenue of 53.90. So much smaller revenue, take off our power cost of $25, gives us a profit of $28.9 for the month of February. So from one month to the next, massively different. Most of it is because of, I found significantly less burst coin but also the price reduction as well drastically reduces your earnings. Just a couple of cents difference, um, you know, individually on each one of those burst coins massively changes your earnings. Uh, and also I've just got a extra comparison at the bottom here, because like I say, the, your earnings um, are drastically affected depending on exactly when you sell throughout the month. So normally I just kind of like pick and choose my best times to sell. I normally just try and sell the highest throughout the month and then sometimes I might just carry some over. Um, and sometimes I just take an average throughout the month as well. So that's how I do it with Burstcoin because the price fluctuates quite a lot. And obviously if you see a good opportunity like we had in December and January to sell, um, at those you know all time highs, then that's a great time to sell. It means that your earnings gonna be much better overall. Uh, but taking a look at the current prices, so it's the 23rd of March. And then if we, so for example, if we kept all of our Burstcoins that we mined throughout January and February, and then we was looking to sell them today, how would that affect the prices? And it would affect prices, of course, quite um, significantly. So for January, if we were selling today, all of our burst coin would be valued at two cents roughly per burst coin. And that would mean that our revenues would be $124.77. Uh, obviously we've been minus the 25 of that, so we'll call it $100 for the month of January. And for February, similar story, pretty, pretty lame. Uh, so our revenue would have come out as at 35.94. Uh, again, taken off our power, which means we would only make um, you know $11 for February if we sold at the prices today. So you can see there's quite um, a dramatic effect there, depending on exactly when you choose to um, sell your coins. 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here for today. Of course, I'll still be mining and I'll try and do more regular updates, try and get it back onto a month by month basis. It's easier for me to share with you guys um, or time permitting. I'll also have a look into that um, J minor problem, like I say, trying to establish exactly why it's running a little bit slower. Is it um, you know because of that memory that I took out there? So I'll report back on that and see um, what effect that has and how that has obviously affected my earnings. So thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate your likes and subscribes. So if you haven't done that already, then please, um, please consider doing that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.